what's up everyone here to do kill like kill episode one and i definitely have to say i did enjoy this episode it definitely gives you that Gurren Lagann feel a little bit of nostalgia and yeah if you haven't seen Gurren Lagann you should definitely watch that because it's a good anime and yeah um if you haven't seen my reviews before I'm just gonna go over some of the main points and what happened throughout the episode and what I thought about it so the episode starts off with us being at Hanoji Academy I believe it is and we find out that somebody is like a traitor in the school and they stole a suit and um, I'll get in, uh, into the suits a little bit later but um yeah this guy tries to steal a suit and he runs away and it ends up making him stronger which was weird because he was a fat person and after that a guy named Iru well we find out or find out that his name is uh, a guy named Iru ends up like destroying him and saying that he's a three star he would never lose to a one star and right after that he talks about like how like you students need to respect us and all this and goes on a little bit of a rant and we get introduced to the head of the student council uh sasuke kirin i think it is and um it's a really strict school that they're at and i guess she makes the rules or whatever she's a top dog there or whatever and um right after that we're introduced to the main protagonist ryoko uh matoy something like similar to that but um don't quote me but anyway she's like walking through a slum area and some kids just mess around with her and she like handles them real quick and there's this girl that's actually like is kind of nice to her and in a little bit we get or right after actually we get introduced to a girl named Mako and she's pretty nice she's super energetic and I definitely have to say this also like just these like super detailed and like um I don't really know how to say like motion but like there's so much motion in the animation and it looks really good like it, it can be comedic at times but I enjoy it like because I'm a fan of Gurren Lagann and it definitely just gives off like as I said before the Gurren Lagann feel but she's like really all over the place and <clears throat> she asked if she played the guitar I guess and I think I was assuming because she had that case on her back and they end up having to kneel down if somebody comes along and she has who are the like top dogs at the school or the big shots and <clears throat> she we start to learn about the disciplinary group and she explains like there are one stars there are two stars and three stars and they're based on your ability and there are only four three stars and it just really caught my eye and it kind of reminds me of like the setup of girl and Logan. i mean they didn't give us like as much format but i definitely like it gives off the feel of like with the four captains or whatever four people and i believe it was the same way in girl like so as the big shots are like walking down the aisle way and the normal students are bowing down to them um ryoko just jumps out of nowhere in front of her and is like do you know anything about these scissors or oh, in front of the head i'm sorry uh satsuki and she says do you know anything about these scissors and she kind of gives her a smart remark and like so what if i do and she tries to attack her and this guy from the boxing club um i think his name is uh takahara or something like that but um we end up like seeing them fight and i'm not gonna lie at first i thought that she was about to handle him because of how she was like handling the scissors at first but he ends up like owning her and she has to retreat and stuff and they say that or Sesuke, the head of the soon council says take her sword and she says that's one thing i won't do she ends up running away and it's kind of sad or whatever and she goes to her house and we get a little bit of a flashback showing her like uh, i guess somebody stole the other half of her scissors and she ends up falling down a trap door and the teacher that we saw from earlier that was a little suspicious he was there and he said it's up to you now and after that, one of her friends ends up being held hostage, or um, the only girl she met, I'm sorry, not her friends, but um, uh, Mako ends up getting held hostage or whatever, and something's about to happen, but then, of course, like, Ryoko comes out, and she is in, like, this weird uniform, and I just, like, just it being, like, something, like, fan servicey, like, interesting, like, it definitely 
like as we I said before reminds me of Girl Logan and I just thought it was kind of funny but there was like a, a lot of funny things going on like especially with like their moves and stuff or the boxers moves like they were really over the top and stuff and um I will say though sometimes like it's a little like too quirky I think but I felt the same way in Girl Logan but I definitely feels though once the series like picks up because it's only the first episode once the series picks up like we might get some really cool action and some really sweet animation and either way uh as i said earlier the animation was just so nice but um she's she's in this really fan service like uniform and everybody's like where did she get that uniform from like what is that and she ends up like taking care of the boxer and like shredding his uniform and yeah, like, all the people from the disciplinary committee are just, like, in shock. And, uh, by the way, uh, I'm pretty sure I remember the names of the disciplinary people. We get introduced to a guy named Uzu, uh, Hyoko, and Nanun or something like that, or Nano. I I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, but, um... We also learn that her the part of her scissors can defeat their Goku suits. And yeah, honestly, the plot, I'm not going to lie, has me pretty intrigued and I'm definitely looking forward to more. So the episode ends off, though, with Sasaki, like the head of the Soon Console, asking Roko, where did you get that uniform from? And all she says is these scissors were left behind from my father and you're going to tell me like where I can get them from. And she challenges her. And yeah, I'm honestly about ready to see the next episode it intrigued me as i said before but let me know what you guys think um like if you like the episode um subscribe if you like my review and thanks